Hello friends, welcome. In the last two videos I show you how to install Vue.js and also how to fetch data uh, with Axios. And I had a comment in the YouTube how to structure the header, footer and the sidebar. So how to create a layout because in the layout we can add the header, footer and the sidebar. And in this video I want to show you how to create a layout with uh, blade or if you don't like a blade and want with Vue.js how to do that. So first I'm going to create a component and I'm going to create through the terminal I'm going to say artisan make a component. I'm going to create a Laravel a blade component and I'm going to name it a default layout. Like this. Okay now let's open the VS code and let's open the resources views, components, we have now this default layout. I'm going to remove everything here and I'm going to add HTML5 and inside let's change first the title, I'm going to say uh, Laravel and Vue.js then I'm going to add the Tailwind CSS because I'm going to add the header and the footer with Tailwind classes so in the tailwindcss.com Go to play CDN and I'm going to add so CDN. Also, you can install because here you have the framework guides and you have Laravel here. But I'm going to add pro CDN because it's more easy. And the next thing we need is to add also the Vue.js here. So I'm going to add app.js with width. Copy and paste that in. So here we are in the default layout. And with that, inside the body, I'm going to add a div with the ID of app. And inside this div now, I'm going to add dollar sign slot. So here is going to be all what we need to add. Let's go to the welcome. And now here, I'm going to use this default layout and what we're going to put inside is going to be inside here, the slot. So let's select all. And as you can see, we need just this. I'm going to cast this one. Select all and remove. And let's say X, default layout component. And here, I'm going to paste the post index. OK. We have here the app.js and the tiny CSS and also the div with ID app. And then we have the slot. And inside that slot, we have here the post index. Okay, now if I save this and let's open the project, yeah, it is, as you can see, also we have a Tidal CSS because we changed the font. Good. Now, how to add uh, the header and footer? Let's go into components and let's create a new component here. So I'm going to say this is going to be a header. Dot blade.php and also let's add one more for the footer and I'm going to say footer.blade.php and let's open I'm going to open the low byte and I'm going to choose here this default navbar for the header on the header I'm, I'm going to paste this in and let's save and also let's choose a footer if we have, yeah, here, the default one. I'm going to copy and go to the footer, paste that in, save. And we can add here directly to the default layout if you like, or also you can add on the welcome if you want to have a different uh, or different. So on the welcome, we have the footer and the header for this one. And if you have some other pages, and need to change the header and the footer, you can add it here. If you want all of them the same, we can add directly here. So X header. And let's just close this. After that, let's add also the X footer like this. OK, and also let's just let me move up here. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm, because I added now the Titan CSS in this div, I'm going to add some classes. Let's say max width the B seven Excel and MX auto to this one. And also let's move the footer away. And now let's save this and let's open. Also let's save here and let's open. Yeah, here we have now the header and we have also the footer. One more thing, just to be more clear, I'm going to go inside the SCTP controllers, post index controller, and instead of all, I'm going to say latest and limit of uh, with the limit to 12, and let's say get here, save. Yeah. Here is where we have 12 of them and we have the header and also the footer right here. Now this is how you can add with a blade. Okay, now this is about the blade. Now if you don't like a blade, we can remove this. And let's remove also the footer here. And I'm going to remove the class for the this div, save. And let's go back. Yeah. What we need now is go inside the JS components. And here I'm going to create a new folder. And let's name it here. Layout. Layouts. And in here I would add the default layout. So default. And let's say default layout like this is better. Let's say we set up. And OK. Now go to the layouts and also create the header and the footer so header dot view and also the footer dot view hit enter let's go now uh, on the header blade i'm going to select all copy and paste on the header dot view so we just need to add a template here Okay, save, go to the footer, select all, copy, go to the footer here, and maybe let's add also the D setup and on the template, paste that in. Now if you want some scripts, you can add here. The same I'm going to do also for the uh, header, because maybe we will want to make some changes or something in the script. So let's add here the script also. And let's save. On the default layout, we need to import both of them. So import the header. From header here and also import the footer. So import footer from this one and add here in the inside the template. Now I'm going to add the header here, the close. Then I'm going to add the slot, which is going to be the default slot. And after this, also I'm going to add the footer. Okay, let's save. Let's go now inside the post post index and here now we need to import the default layout. So let's say import default layout and wrap everything with that. So I'm going to cut this and say default layout. Just close and inside I'm going to paste that in because on the default layout, we have added the slot here. And with that, if I come here, as you can see, now we have the header and the footer. Just we need to add some classes to be in the center. So max width. And let's cut this slot and say add a div with class to be max 
with 7xl and mx auto and inside now paste the slot and yeah we have max with 7xl and here is the header here is the footer and also the content inside also the same thing you can do by adding the sidebar so in here you can add the sidebar the component sidebar and the same you can do also on the with the blade on default layout you can add here the sidebar i create a component for the default layout and maybe the same you had also when you create a Laravel project with Breeze just there the uh, default layout is not inside the components but is inside the layout directory and you can do that by changing going up here on the app view default layout here is the default layout and as you can see on the render we have return view components default layout view if you don't like that so if you want to have the view inside the layout directory, you can create a directory here. So let me do that, layouts. Okay, and I'm going to move the default layout on the layouts here. And now with that, we can say not inside the components, but inside the layouts. Okay. And now let's go on the post index and I'm going to remove this and use, use the blade version. Let's save, let's close everything and just open the welcome blade. And here we have the X default layout, very good. Uh, yeah, we need that on the default layout the also here let's add the class the same we had before so class with max with the b7 excel and mx auto and also up here i'm going to add x header component which is going to be self-closed and also down there the x footer component and as I said, if you have a sidebar, you can add here as well. Now let's go and see. Yeah, we have the header and the footer. Okay, friends, this is about this video. I hope you enjoy. And if you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video and see you in the next one. All the best.